So I had a question today about the, the replace expressions function in the expressions dialog here. And I thought I'd make a brief video to talk about this uh, specifically, but also about uh, kind of our units handling, uh, what we do with dimensionality and units uh, in here and how we, we keep those straight and, uh, and then how that plays into replace, right? And how that'll, that'll manifest kind of as we do a replacement here. So a couple of principles here to start with. Um, we've got we've got some kind of base expressions in this particular part here. Uh, three of them. There's one that's an integer here. That's this guy. Uh, this one starts out as an integer. And uh, this this is 34. Uh, you'll notice here that the uh, the integer expression, uh, any integer expressions don't carry units. They don't carry dimensionality or units. Right. It's just a just an integer uh, number, and uh, and that, that's going to be true all the time. Um, the 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 second one here, row seven, is is uh, a unitless number. So this one's the type is a number here. So this one could be a decimal, right? We could have this one be twenty one point something. Oops, except for I'm in the U.S., and so I'm going to do point with that point. <laughs> there we go, and, and that of course will propagate uh, to to other places where that one's referenced, right? And that's okay. Um, the um, the third one there is a um, number that uh, that has units, right? Is carrying units. So this particular one has a length unit assigned, and uh, and so we'll use that in downstream calculations and, and try to keep that straight. Okay. Now we'll see that here in these, and then I'm going to add a couple more expressions in a minute that'll that'll do a little more complex um, use of the units to resolve to a more complex unit uh, down below, and, and we'll we'll see that and how that again how that works with with replace. So so in this particular one here, um, the the first expression up here, this formula zero row two, uh, is just a straight reference of of one by another. So so formula zero just references the value or references really the the number original with units down here. This one has millimeters on it and is carrying that over up into this this expression up above. So the, the unit here length is defined for this one. This is going to reference another length here, so that references nicely. And one of the nice things here is is with the units here, we can actually change this, right? We, we can change this destination one from millimeters to centimeters, and, and we'll do that conversion. That's the easy one, of course, going from 21 to 2.1, right? Uh, but we can do that with with inches or or something like that as well. And, and again, we'll we'll just do that conversion. This is actually a really clean way inside an X to convert from one unit to another if you need to. So you could just reference it, right? And we'll we'll use the new uh, use the new value up in the uh, the uh, the other one up there. Uh, super powerful, actually. It's it's quite nice to to be able to do that. So so that's that's the first one, formula zero. So that's a pure reference. Uh, and and again, what we're going to do in a minute is replace this one with units with uh, the integer, right? And and see what happens <laughs> here. Um, the second one here, uh, we've got. Uh, I kind of wrote out the procedure here and and what how, how each of these was made. Uh, but formula one here really has a unitless number. Again, this one twenty five at the beginning. Plus, uh, plus this other one that's also unitless, right? So we've got a unitless plus a unitless here. And then on the end of that, we've assigned some units, right? The, the original numbers didn't imply any units at all. And so we can assign a unit later, a dimensionality later, and we've done that here. So this one's also a, a length. But again, the numbers themselves, the one numbers in the formula are both unitless to begin with. Um, row four here, this guy, uh, is a little different, right? This one starts with a unitless number here, but we've added to that a number with units on it. And, and when we do that now, NX is going to start to see that and say, oh, oh, I've got some units here to work with. And so I want I want the result of this to be consistent with the stuff that I've, I've put in. And, and so this one, we see the length unit in there. Uh, we, we're adding something to that, and that's okay, right? Uh, so we'll, we'll end this with the length. And actually, when we create this in the first place, we'll, we can do that assignment automatically. Right? And, and you'll see that uh, you'll, you'll see a, ver a, ver a version of that in just a second with uh, with another one we'll create here. This last one uh, is a lot like row three here, right? Where we've got a unitless number, our 125 here, plus an integer, which also, of course, is unitless. Uh, and here again, those two get added together. The numbers get added together, and then the length is, is assigned after the fact there. Okay. So in that context, um, again, what we're going to do is we're going to replace all of the usages of uh, the units one with the original, right? This, or sorry, with the integer, <laughs> and and see what happens there. Okay, 
Um, this, in fact, let's do this replacement first, just just so we can see this here. This one's the really easy case, right, where we've got a unitless number to begin with, and we're going to a unitless number. And so everywhere where this is used, we're we're already kind of checking and evaluating the math and making sure that that all of the downstream formulas are okay with the fact that this one's unitless, right? And so replacing with the integer is going to be just fine here, right? So so if we come to our replace expressions command here. And we can come and, and, and say, I want to take this unitless one here. And, and I can do this kind of three ways. I can either, <laughs> I can either start typing in a name, and, and it'll do our autocomplete. And you can choose one here if you want. Um, or <laughs> I, can, I can find it in the list here in MB3 and say, I want that to be the, the current expression. And that'll populate up there. right? Or I can um, take that back out of there. I can select it here, and the buttons here actually will kind of do the same thing. This will feed the the selected expression into the current uh, current expression up there, uh, and so forth. Okay, so integer as well. I can grab that guy and say I want to replace this original unitless one here with the the integer, right? And as we do there do that, it's going to go out find all of the places where this is referenced uh, in the part, and it's going to replace all of the the referenced. Uh, anywhere this is referenced in a formula, it's going to replace it with the the, the lower string, okay? Uh, and so, so as we do that, we'll say okay, it'll come out there, and uh, and again, one of these, and I don't even remember which one it was now. <laughs> uh, well, it's this one, it's the modified one, right? So the the orange here is modified. Uh, this one used to be the the unitless one, right? This one below was the integer. This one was the unitless one. And, and it's replaced that, that number original unitless string with this integer original string in the formula here. Uh, it notifies us here, right, that, that this has been changed. We've not, we've not said apply yet, but this is the one that's, that's uh, pending change. Uh, and of course, that one's, that one's happy. The, the formula was white here, not pink. Uh, so that was, that was not causing a problem. Okay, so from that context, we can see that one's easy, right? Replacing the the unitless expression with the with an integer is, is no problem at all. Uh, I'm going to undo one here, and uh, let's come back to here. Okay, so we're back to where the unitless is in there. We're kind of pre-replacement here, and let's do the the more interesting one here, right? Where we have uh, a units expression, and we'll replace this one with an integer, and and see what happens here again. Uh, actually, and uh, what what we'll see. Uh, is is this these two are the two that are going to get replaced there, right? Uh, in the formula, these two references to the units one are both going to be replaced by an integer original. And, and what we'll see here is that that the top one is actually they're both these both are going to be fine, right? Um, in in this case uh, and this case, right? We've got really a unitless plus a unitless. Uh, and and the the dimensionality is added later on top of really a unitless result from the formula, and and that's what's gonna what we're gonna end up with here. We we're starting here with a formula that has units uh, the the millimeters that are referenced down below, uh, but we're gonna end up with a unitless one here, and and we're okay with that, right? We're gonna keep the dimensionality of that expression uh, the same, and, and we'll just be referencing kind of a unitless formula at that point. So that's okay. Right, that's going to be okay. And the similar thing is going to happen here, where again we've got a unitless number. We're going to change the second one to a unitless number, and, and those are still consistent. The unitless plus unitless. It's really going to turn into one of these other cases, right? And we'll keep the same dimensionality here. So, so this is this change is going to be okay, right? So let's do that. We'll do the replace here. Here again, we're going to grab the uh, this one with units. Right, that'll be our, our original with units, right? And then our replacement one here is going to be the um, the the integer, okay? So as we say okay here, again these are the two that are modified. You see that that string gets replaced in the formulas there, and and again these are white right now. These cells are white right now, which tells us they're okay, right? We'll see some pink in a minute that are that are some some uh, dimensionality mismatches, uh, but these are okay. So we can say okay here. And uh, I'm contr using Control E to launch the expressions dialog again, and this is happy, right? So, so that kind of replacement is just fine, right? Now, what I'm going to do here? Let me undo again, and let's get back to that pre-state. Yep. Okay. So we're back to the original. Now I'm going to add a couple new expressions here that that have a little different behavior, um, and I'll start with a formula just just 
to explain what we're doing and then I'll add the name to, to see that. So this is this guy, right? We're gonna start with units and of course this original with units here again has a length unit, right? Um, if we take that lengthy unit and, and divide that by seconds here, divide by time, right? Now we've got a length divided by a time and that of course is gonna be a velocity, right? And, and with the expressions manager, what we're gonna have, what you'll see here, is that uh, as we do that, we're gonna auto-recognize really that, oh, it, it already did it. I, I moved my mouse out of, the, out of the dialog to go copy and paste a thing. And, and you'll notice that it already looked at that formula, it already evaluated that, and it, it automatically switched it to velocity over here, right? So at creation time, specifically, we'll do that, right? And we'll we'll pick up that new dimensionality. Now we don't do, we on purpose we don't do that later during edit because we don't want to uh, create tangles <laughs> out there by automatically switching a bunch of stuff you've already calculated. Right? We want to let you know if stuff changes there, and that's that's the more important workflow. Um, but to give this one a name, this one's going to be four. So we've got a units divided by some inline units. These the second is specified inline. This could be a second expression if we wanted to, as well. And, uh, and again, th this one we saw at auto assign units uh, on this guy, okay? Now, this one, uh, as you might guess, when we replace this one, this one's gonna struggle, right? This one's gonna, this one's gonna complain uh, that we, we're, we're going to unit list divided by seconds and, and, and a constant divided by a time uh, actually is a frequency, right? <laughs> it's kind of inverse time units is, is a frequency. And, and so it's gonna tell us that the dimensionality is is not right. Uh, the result of this formula doesn't give us the right resulting dimensionality when we do the replacement in a minute, okay? Um, I'm gonna do another one here that is gonna be formula five, this guy. And, and this one's gonna be another unit list divided by unit list here. And, and we'll see uh, this guy. Uh, in fact, we can see that problem here uh, if we do this. So, so this, the, here's the unit list uh, divided by seconds. And I included the seconds on here on purpose here. And we'll see this, we'll see this change, right? As we hit enter here, um, that, one's, that one's struggling uh, actually, right? So that one's come back and, and told us that we've got a, a dimension error on that. And uh, in, in this guy here, if we come and, and choose frequency on this guy, this should, uh, uh, right there, right? That, that's happy now, right? It knows that, that that's correct. But, uh, but that, of course, isn't what we're after here. We're, we're, we're looking for a velocity. So we can have a unit list divided by a unit list here and, uh, and call this one uh, a velocity. And, and it's okay with that, right? Uh, much like below. Right here where we had addition, we can do that with uh, with division as well, of course. Okay, so this one again, we auto recognize the velocity here. We we uh, we didn't, and we had to specify the velocity because we didn't have any units to work with here. Right, unit list divided by unit list. Okay, so uh, so this guy, this is the this is kind of the interesting one now, right? So if we go to do this replacement now, and we replace this one that carries units with one that doesn't. This one's going to complain, and we'll see we'll see how it does that here, right? So again, if, as we come into the replacement here, come and say I want to take the uh, the original with units, right, and replace that with the uh, the integer, right? That when now is going to complain, right, and tell us that we found a frequency here <laughs> where a velocity was expected, right? And it's going to tell us that specifically that was in the formula four expression uh, out there that uh, is, is headed toward this, right? This is the new formula that we're trying to feed into that, but that's, that's given us a problem there, right? So it's gonna prevent us from doing the replace until we go fix that four, right? Uh, so, so we can do that, right? Here again, it's, it's stopping that. Won't let us, won't let us proceed there until we, until we do that. So let's go back and look at how we might do that, okay? Um, as I mentioned, uh, one of the things that we've got here going on is that we've got uh, right now some units divided by units and that's giving us a that's giving us a, a velocity here uh, essentially if we want to remove the units here on one of these we 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 can put this into a state where uh, where the result of the formula here is unitless right and if we put the whole thing into a state where the result 
uh, uh, is unitless, then we're okay with kind of appending the dimensionality after the fact. And, and that's this case below, right? This is unitless divided by unitless, and we can tack on a dimensionality onto a unitless result, and that's that's okay. So so a couple ways we can do this. So there's a thing we could do here to this guy, right? To, to get this into that kind of unitless, unitless state, right? Uh, right now we know this units one has, has units. We're going to replace it with something that doesn't. And so we can kind of simulate that by, by using this a, a rem u or remove units function uh, actually uh, out there. If we, uh, if we look at that, uh, look at that kind of here, um, you'll see that, that reflected down below. Uh, so this is going to return the unitless value of an expression, and, and it takes the name of an expression as an input here, right? That's how that's going to go in. And, and so what this is going to do here, uh, let's take that out of there. <laughs> uh, down in this guy, what we can do is we can put in the remu here on this first guy, right? And that's going to remove the units from that one, okay? Um, it, the second one here, uh, we need to make that one unitless too, right? To, to get this into a unitless state if we're gonna if we're gonna switch this for an integer uh, so we could take off the units here uh, that that's one way we could do it right as we hit enter there we see that that's white that's okay um, another way we could do that uh, of course is we've, we've got the seconds on the end of that we we could add some seconds on the top of this right say we we're gonna add uh, a second one second on the top uh, except you get the right kind of bracket there we go uh, this also would put us into a state here where we've got unitless times seconds divided by seconds, right? So we end up with a unitless value there, and that's white also, okay? So uh, if you're changing, if you've got formulas that are using a unit, and we're going to switch them to a uh, an expression that doesn't have units, then uh, we'll need to do something here to, to put this into a state where the incoming units, that the change of the units from from uh, carrying dimensionality to not carrying dimensionality is okay, right? So that there may be some manual uh, adjustments there if, if you're doing that kind of a change, right? But we'll, we'll put it in that state there. Here again, we're stripping off that units, dividing it by a unitless number. Uh, and, and so that's in a state now where we could do the replacement, right? We could come and take, uh, again, that, uh, that unit with units there and replace that with our integer here. And uh, now that's going to be okay, right? Because here again, we've got unitless divided by unitless, and, uh, and that's going to be good, okay? So hopefully that's, hopefully that's useful, okay? Uh, again, we're, we're doing our best here to <laughs> keep track of the units and to help not uh, create kind of a rat's nest of, of, of dimensionality mismatches, right? We're, we're protective of, uh, of the calculations you've done already, and we want to make sure that we keep those intact to the extent that we can. So hopefully that helps uh, helps uh, explain a little bit uh, again about how our units work uh, and also the uh, the replace command and how that how that factors in. I hope you find that useful.